So here is the Wi-Fi Bluetooth development kit box and it consists of a system evaluation board as we can see here. The board itself consists of the uh, Wi-Fi Bluetooth combo device which uh, you can see here and that has several interfaces. It has a, a USB interface for the Bluetooth, a UART interface for the Bluetooth and here the SDO interface for the Wi-Fi it also has an SMA connector here for the Bluetooth and an SMA connector here for the Wi-Fi antenna. Here are the antennas that come with the kit, one for Bluetooth and one for Wi-Fi, a, 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 a USB cable for the Bluetooth and a CD-ROM consisting of uh, the driver, a Windows XP driver for the Wi-Fi and a Bluetooth protocol stack and also a quick start guide to allow you to get started with this uh, development system. Now that we have the uh, Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth antenna mounted on the dev kit and also the USB cable has been plugged in, we're now ready to uh, um, insert this dev kit into the laptop SDIO slot and when we actually do that we'll hear a bling bling which indicates that um, the the driver has been inst indeed installed correctly uh, for the Wi-Fi that can be checked by going to start control panel system hardware and device manager and on the network adapters <coughs> indeed the Marvell SD8686 wireless LAN SD adapter driver has been installed uh, we're now since that's correctly installed we're now ready to actually start using the Wi-Fi and we can in fact open up the browser and actually <coughs> uh, we can try going to the Y2Y website So now we have the Wi-Fi up and running. The next stage is to get the Bluetooth up and running. Now we, blo now we plug the uh, Bluetooth USB cable uh, into the laptop. And as soon as we do that, uh, we get uh, a prompt saying Bluetooth hardware found. Next, we will actually try and scan uh, to see which Bluetooth devices are, are in the vicinity. Uh, we do that by going to the Bluetooth icon, double clicking on the icon, going up to search devices. And while you're searching for the devices, uh, what, we, what we will attempt to do is actually have the Bluetooth find this BlackBerry device. Uh, and once it's done that, uh, we will actually transfer a JPEG image uh, from the BlackBerry to the actual laptop itself. So once the, the BlackBerry is found, it will, and as it indeed has here, it's come up with BlackBerry A310. So now that it's found the BlackBerry, uh, the next step is to actually pair uh, the laptop uh, with the BlackBerry using Bluetooth. So we do that by double clicking uh, on, uh, on, on the BlackBerry A310. And what we have up here on the BlackBerry is Enter numeric passkey for HPDV6000 underscore XP. Um, the HPDV6000 XP is the name of this laptop, and the passkey is all zeros. So we just type that in, click OK. Similarly, on the laptop, we get Bluetooth passkey for BlackBerry 8310 pop up. And again, we type in all zeros inside and then click OK. So now that we have the BlackBerry paired up with the laptop, we'll select one of these pictures from the BlackBerry and transmit that to the, to the laptop. So we'll select the first one and then we'll... So this is actually a picture of the laptop with the dev kit which uh, we've been looking at. Uh, we'll then go to this menu and scroll down until we come uh, to send using Bluetooth. We click on that 
we select the device to which we want to send uh, this image, which in this case is HPDV6000 underscore XP. We click OK. And on the laptop itself, we get a Bluetooth service authorization prompt come up. We click Yes to allow. And then we see the actual file transfer uh, taking place. Uh, once a file transfer has completed, a um, a message will actually pop up here uh, to tell us that is indeed the case. As in this case, an object JPEG was received. Click here to open the folder. So we go down, uh, double click to open the folder, and indeed there is the actual image we sent using uh, the Bluetooth link from the BlackBerry to the laptop. So using the wider white uh, development system uh, for the Wi-Fi Bluetooth combo, in the space of five minutes, we have managed to actually get a Wi-Fi link up and running and also a Bluetooth pairing of a laptop with a BlackBerry and got images being transferred as well. Naturally, you're not confined to just transferring uh, images as well. Um, you can also pair up with Bluetooth headsets, have streaming, so then you can have streaming video coming down the Wi-Fi and then the audio playing uh, down the Bluetooth. So the wide wide dev kit does provide a lot of flexibility in terms of uh, testing, development, and evaluation of the wide to wide Bluetooth Wi-Fi combo.